set here. Yeah, this is... And a great audience. Oh, fabulous audience. Yeah, Thank they you. Really Give yourselves nice, a hand. Nice yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Now, uh... Yeah, what's I, up? I'm interested to know you have, um... Well, you know, give me some information about love life. Well, are you married? No. Okay. Are you kidding? Look at me. No, no. I mean, anybody. I've been a, married three times. Look at me. Well, I mean, yeah, you, know, get married. you know, you got a point there. Yeah. Yeah. There's always somebody. You there know is. What I'm there saying? is. It's, it's all about something. lowering your standards. Exactly. Yeah. No. It's yeah. about. Yeah. It's about. Well, them, it's true. Them, it's them true. Lowering their what standards. Are people are about that. It's true. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said it's about them lowering their standards. That's the real. Thank you. Let me just say Either way, but you've got. Here's the problem. Yes. Al. Yes. People get their hopes up too high. Yes, Like, for instance, Britney Spears and her new husband. Right. They're talking about how much they love each other more than anything. Uh, they, they, they're hopelessly madly loved. Right. That's never going to work. Because when you're that in love with someone, you've got nowhere to go but down. Uh, if you that's start why, up, yeah. That's yeah. why I know with my wife, Shelby, it will work. Because when, when we got engaged, she didn't even like me. You know? <laughs> yeah. And right now, she, after two years of marriage, she tolerates me. Right. She'll occasionally say hello in the hallway. Uh -huh. By the time we're together 40 years, we're going to be madly, deeply, hopelessly in love. We're building You're up to that. You sort of build to it. Yeah. yeah because well, if you start philosophy. too high, yeah. if you start too high, am I right, yeah, Ed? If you well. start too high, then you, you know, the next day you're like, oh my God, you know? But well, and, if and, you, you know. And if that doesn't work, there's always the prenup. So I didn't little... have one. Well, you know why? You know why? What? Because I didn't have one in my first marriage. It would have been right for me to ask somebody else to do How many times one. do you need to make the same mistake? You that see, is Those dead. who do not yeah. learn by history it, are that is condemned true. to keep reliving it, man. That's What's the true. matter with you? Yeah. You're too nice of a it's guy. A that's what that's all about. Faith. It's a sign of good faith. Yeah, you know. yeah I guess. I'm going to die alone and penniless. I know it, so it's, I might as well, you know. It's not good going into a relationship with a lawyer. It, it really yeah, isn't. No, no. It really isn't. I've said that many times. It's like saying, I really love you, you lying. Yeah, sign <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Now, your show, I love your show. The best ass sports show, period. Can yeah. I say that on this? That well, you just did. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's no, a lot of fun. It gets pretty crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, are you, well, you should come down there sometime. I would like to. We'd I would love like to have to. you. What, what do you remember off the top of your head as a very crazy moment? Well, there's a lot of crazy moments because we get a lot of these athletes that come on and do yeah. fun stuff. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had uh, Alec Baldwin was fun because uh -huh. he did an impression of me. The interview changed all of a sudden, and he became me, you know, an exaggerated version of me. And then I, I answered as him. He was promoting a movie, and I knew a little bit about it. That was fun. Does that make any sense whatsoever? You know, you probably had to be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you know, like, yeah. you get the guys like Shaq and the regular guys yeah. that come on, and it's, it's a fun... Well, you've, you got, a, you've got an exciting set. We yeah, do have an exciting yeah. set. We got right. the we got the John Sally, who's yeah, an yeah, NBA yeah. guy. Yeah. You look a little like him. I do. You could be. <laughs> is, he, is he getting dates? You could be. Yeah. 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 Well, if it works for him, then yeah, and I look exactly. the same. Maybe he could throw something my way. Yeah, he could throw yeah. some leftovers. Yeah. Well, you know, but uh, you, you've got a crazy set here because uh, you know my my craziest moment on this show. I yeah. watched Ed take a nap on this couch. And right that, now that he's that doing, was, it. doing it. Now. Oh, yes. well, listen, uh, in, keeping, in keeping hip with this show and everything, yeah. I, we got a note from the network. They want this show to appear, appeal to the younger demographic, you know, that demographic word. Right. So I found what I think is the hippest guy on our staff, and I sent him out to the street oh, cool. to talk to the kids in their own language. Mark. And uh, he's my senior correspondent, and I emphasize the word senior. I'd like to show this little tape for you. Please roll that, Brian. Yo, Al, this is your senior correspondent out on the street, rapping with my peeps. Let's see what they have to say. Are you a chilling dog? A chilly dog? You chilling dog? Am I chilling dog? Straight up. For reals. This is my wife. Isn't she beautiful? Nice to meet Lord. you, sir. Your wife is Booyah. Is Booyah? I don't know what that means. I, mean, I hope it's complimentary. It is. <laughs> Where are your dogs at? My dog's are sleeping now because we've been up all night. Where's your crib at? Crib at? Where, where's your crib at? Crib hat. Hat? Why are you all up in my grill? What is it you want to know? You're killing dog? I don't understand what you're saying. You're killing dog. <laughs> I am chilling. Are you chilling? Definitely. Good. Why are you all up in my grill? We're not all up in your grill, huh? Boy, let's kick it on the flip side and go chill down at my homie's crib, dog. I'm up with that. Why are you front? You got all the urban colloquialisms down. I'll give you that, Max. All right, back to you, homie. Yeah! Oh, that was good. What do you think, huh? You should do that huh? more. That was good. Yeah! 
Whoa. That was funny. It yeah. was great, huh? I yeah. like that a lot. Well, I thank you for coming. Tom Thanks, Arnold, man. you were a great, great guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom thank Arnold. You. Yeah. We'll be right thank back you. with more thank about you. talk show after this massage. Yeah. and you know who you are, try to wear something that draws attention away from your face. Maybe a bag. It's easier to remove vomit after it's hardened. Oh yeah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Looks good. Alf, we are way over budget. Do you really need five stylists? I'm sorry, what's the name of this show again? Alf's hit talk show. And what comes first in Alf's hit talk show? Alf. Find somewhere else to trim the budget. I'm sorry, Mr. McMahon. It's all we could afford. I'm too old for this crap. Alf's hit talk show, Friday nights at 11, only on TV Land. This time for a little shameless plug before we go on. I want you to know that the ALF season one is now available on DVD from Lionsgate. Okay, they paid me to say that, and I'm out of here. All right. Now, now I, don't, I don't know if this is a put-on or not, and you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna verify this, Tom, because Ed has discovered this guy uh, from, uh, from Florida who's got a talking dog. Right. Is that true, Ed? Wow. It, the dog talked, yeah. For yeah, real? The, no, yeah. Really, it's, I, was it's not doing, I was doing an Alpo commercial. The dog came over, ate some of the food, screamed and yelled. It was, it was like ecstasy. I never heard anything it's, like it from a dog. dog should not do ecstasy. No, no, I just no, want no, to say that's right that's now. Probably yeah. why, that's, that's bad. That's, yeah. that's probably why it was <laughs> screaming and yelling. Yeah. This isn't that old joke where you say what's on the top of a house and the dog goes roof. And, then, and, and you know what's sandpaper and it goes roof. No, yeah. all right, this, this. The dog actually A talks. picture is worth a thousand the dog words. Talks. Please welcome Mr. James Nelson. Hello there. Okay. All right. Oh, this, boy. yeah. This is your talking dog. This is my talking dog. Right. Yes. You don't know. You don't know Farfel. I, I, I do now. This is Farfel. Yes. See, your audience knows Farfel. You know yeah. Farfel? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll bet they can sing along with me too. I used to do a commercial. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, on television before you ever came to this planet. Well, that's yeah. yeah. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, yeah. that is the ugliest dog I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't would you? you? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think they would. Yeah, is, uh, I'm uh, starting to get a little itchy. I think he's got fleas. Yeah, I'm getting, no, they're oh, jumping no. on me. No, 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 they no jumped fleas. ship. No, was, no, was, no. Always scratching himself. Yeah. Why do you always scratch yourself? I'm the only one who knows where it itches. I know that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that, I've got some people that have questions about me. Maybe they have questions about you from the audience. Will you stick around while we ask some questions? I, I'd love to answer questions. All right. Yeah, Ed, sure. Ed's got the questions. That I've got them right before here. Before we start, oh. people fill out a little oh. form. All right. Here. Catherine All right. Good. Matheny. Is Catherine here? Where's, there, there she is. All right, Catherine. Where's Catherine? Listen to this. Stand up, Catherine. Stand up. Let's there look you. at you. Yeah. yeah. Here she is. All yeah. right. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Hey, Al, yeah. listen to this. Yeah. I'm a huge fan, and I love you so much. Really? <laughs> well, you're, you don't, you're a huge fan. You're not that big. <laughs> <laughs> you're about an average size fan, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, this is what we need. Go ahead. Tini Carica writes, Tini. how can I help? Advertise your talk show. Where's Tinny? Tinny! Uh, an Where advertiser, right there. Ah. Ah. Tinny, oh, look at that. She's advertising us right now. She's got a little, a little one of me. Oh, that's so adorable. Well, Tinny, thank you. But word of mouth is the best way. You know, call your friends, call your family, and then call everybody in the phone book. Yeah. Start, <laughs> start with Aaron A. Aronson and work your way all the way down to Zelda Zummerman. Just keep calling. <laughs> 
All right, thank you very much. You've been thank a great you, audience. Give yourselves a hand. That's all the show we have for tonight. I want to thank all my guests, Tom Arnold, the great Jimmy Nelson, and of course, Ed McMahon. Good night, and we'll see you. Shake those fleas off. Shake those fleas off. Miss the next Alf's Hit Talk Show with Doris Roberts. I'm going to put my hands in cement on the Walk of Fame in the Bronx because that's where I came from. Usually in the Bronx, people get their feet put in cement. Alf's Hit Talk Show next. <laughs>